and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. Ooh, Minnie's had enough already. Um, today I'm joined by David in one of my favourite t-shirts of yours David. It's new. It's a new one isn't it? With a burger. From Primark obviously. From Primark. From Primark. Um, and today we're going to be doing David's six month reading update. So we've done a reading resolutions video for David at the beginning of the year and then we did a three month uh, reading update three months ago. God, that felt, I like, when I was watching it this morning, I felt like we filmed it about when two I was weeks ago. Scrolling through YouTube, I was like, where is it? Just ages. Yeah, ages and ages away, three months. Um, so we thought we'd do a six, well, we're doing a six month, um, a six month reading update, which I think are handy for you because I think it keeps you on your toes, doesn't it? It, it just does, yeah. reminds you. And then we're gonna do a nine month one in another three months and then end of the year. Um, so David, you're, so David, your target for the year was? 10 books. And at six months through the year, you should be on five books. How many books have you read? He's read five, he's on his sixth, on. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so I've read the, I've already read as many books as I did last year. Which is amazing. Which is good. So just what we're gonna do is we're just gonna review the books that David's read since the last, uh, since the last uh, reading update we did with him. And I will link that um, down below so you'll be able to, to go and catch up on that. So we're gonna talk about that. Then we're gonna talk about the book you're reading at the moment. And then we're gonna talk about the book that you're going to read next. So what are the two books you've read since you last? So the first one is a absolutely delightful graphic novel called Ethel and Ernest by Raymond Briggs. This is a firm favourite. of my. I love this. I gave yeah. this five stars. I really, really love it. It's I read it last book. year. It's a lovely graphic novel. And so it's... So it just follows uh, this couple just through life and um, just growing old together and then sadly dying. Yeah, well, it, it spans their lifetime, so there is yeah. some sad dying bits in there. But it, it really spans some... I've recently talked about this in my favourite books of 2017 because it has been one of my mm. favourite books of 2017. And what I liked about it is that it spans quite a lot of um, history in there yeah, as well. So it spans like World War II mm. and um, VE Day and mm. then how life changed after yeah. the war and things like that. And all the technology and I, changes. and Yeah, and I had this all in my head tucked away somewhere from when I was little and had learnt it and had spoken to my parents, my grandparents. My parents weren't in the war, but like these sort of things that happened. So for me, it was really, it was really comforting. Did you feel like that? Did you feel yeah. it was a comfy read? It was a lovely read. It's lovely, like, I, I wouldn't even say it was a summer read. I'd say it's more of a Christmas yeah, read. Yeah, it's very cozy. Um, cozy. There's, and mm. I like the bit at Christmas as well. Yeah. Uh, where they're all set at Christmas. But yeah, it's, I really love this. I will say though, I think this is probably for UK people or people who've yeah. got a, not necessarily like if you're if you're based in the UK I think it will appear, appeal to you but if you're elsewhere then I think maybe some of this will be unfamiliar to you but yeah. if you've got an interest in sort of political affairs yeah. and, and like the war because it is very war. yeah it, 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 how many it, stars did you give this David uh, four stars four stars so mm. not quite the bestest but you very much enjoyed yeah, it yeah I did I loved it I really I'm we must watch yeah so it's been made the, into a um, televised like a cartoon. Like a, like yeah. a cartoon. Yeah. It's, I so so they look like this. Yeah. So it's like this. And um, uh, Jim Broadbent voices uh, Ernest. I don't know who voices Brenda Blethyn. Who's Brenda Blethyn? The one who voices the thingy. I only know that because it says it on the back. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that. Yeah. I don't know who she is though. But yeah, um, really lovely. Yep. Recommend, recommend. Like that so what was the next one you read, David? So the next one is a five star for me. <gasps> And it was The Elephant Whisperer by Lawrence Anthony. And it follows, uh, so this is, uh, follows Lawrence who <laughs> lives in South Africa and he has a, like, a game reserve. And he, in, he gets asked to take on these bunch of like rogue, um, like badass elephants that have been causing mischief uh, in another part of the world. And so he reluctantly agrees to do it. And it just follows the story of um, him like becoming, um, almost becoming a one with the elephants, and uh, because he's never had elephants before, he's got other things like rhinos and like white rhinos and stuff, and lots of birds. Sorry, my <laughs> if I don't, if I take my hand off it, you literally like <laughs> tilt it down there. Sorry, so I'll keep it I was like holding that. it like that, and I thought I'll take my hand off, and straight away you went. <laughs> and it's just a beautiful book because, as you all know, my favourite kind of book is about animals. Non-fiction non animal memoirs. Yeah. 
and this is absolutely perfect. That is it was a, a non-fiction animal memoir. <laughs> yeah. And it's lovely. It's It really gives you a really good feel and uh, really puts in my imagination of what the South Africa uh, would be like because I've never been. And it's just delightful. And I highly recommend it if you like animals. Very and it's very good. sad as well. Yeah, there was a few moments when you... Sorry, Trevor, you were... We both had quite a light night last night. So there was a few moments in it where you'd be going... Aww. Yeah. Aww. Aww. So like obviously with with it being the nat- and, and nature world, I think animals die, animals get eaten, and um, yeah, and there's attacks. But it's lovely because the first night that he has the elephants, they all break out into town. So they nearly all got shot on like the first day he had them. Mm. Mm, interesting. It's very good. Oh, well, I'm glad you loved yeah, it. Yeah, five stars. Lovely. Easy. Right, so what are you reading at the moment, please, David? I am reading at the moment The Impossible so Fortress. So you mentioned this in your um, three-month video to yeah. say that you were going to be reading it soon. Yeah. You are reading it now. I am now reading um, it. We won't go into the plot because that's all in there, but are you enjoying it so far? I love it. It's really good. It's set in the 80s, so yeah. that's something that you enjoy already. Mm. And it's about two young lads. It's like a coming-of-age story yeah, almost, three isn't lads. it? Yeah, like three lads. Sorry. Yeah. Trying to trying to get a Playboy magazine. How much have you read? Oh, you've read quite a lot. Yeah, about fifty pages. Fifty-seven, if we're being 57. honest. What's all this bit at the beginning then? So all it's that? just it's just coding. Oh, coding. Yeah, I'd be interested to know like if the coding actually means Good anything. David's, um, David's little cute <laughs> bookmark. Lovely. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying it though. It's really good. So, are you having feelings in it that this is going to be one of your faves or? I think so because it's 80s it's had lots of references already mm. to 80s things and it and it's just a silly, it feels like a really silly cool story and it feels like something that could be turned into a movie yeah but but like a kids film because uh yeah cool lovely i mean that, i've just opened it and there's a woman in a yeah, naked that's, woman done that, in that's a strip poker can that he designs on his commodore 64 oh. So that's uh, Christie. And this is your first um, novel of the year. This is my first novel. Very good. Yeah. So, what do you think you will read after that? So afterwards, I'm going to go back to a graphic novel, and uh, it's called Filmish. And so, I will read the blurb on the back, and it says, "In Filmish, cartoonist Edward Ross takes us on an exhilarating ride through the history of cinema, using comics to uncover the magic and mechanics behind our favourite movies." Exploring everything from censorship to set design, Ross spotlights the film and filmmakers that embody this uh, provocative and inventive medium from the pioneers of early cinema to the innov- uh, innovators shaping the movies of today from A Trip to the Moon to Inception and beyond. Interesting. Yeah, because um, cause you pointed it out to me, didn't you? Yeah. Like Probably like a year or so ago. And uh, I was always like, oh, I will buy that next time. I will buy that next time. But I just never got around to doing it. I thought... Maybe I might have received it for Christmas at some point, but... No, sorry. No, 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 sorry, that's not what I meant. And then we was in, I think it was when we went to London? Yeah. Or was it in Whitstable with Simon and Chris? I can't remember. But I just thought, I'm going to buy it. So I did. So those are the books. So if you read those two books, so if you finish... So once you finish that, that's six, then seven. So you've only got to find eight, nine, ten for the rest of the year. Do you still think you're able to do... I mean, you're on track. Do you still still feeling pretty confident about ten books for the year? very confident I'm going to do it. I feel like when Christmas comes comes around, because I'm going to read the Christmas Christmasaurus again. Yeah. Um, and you've got to read, um, <laughs> what's the fucking book called? That one you've got with the dog on the front. Oh, um, Arthur's like Christmas. Christmas with Claude. Oh, yeah, Claude's Christmas. Yeah, Claude's Christmas. She's got a with dog, a dog on the front. Run along a Christmas <laughs> Why did tree. you buy that? I don't know. I just had an odd moment. And also yeah. want to read... It's all tucked up up there. Yeah, like you mentioned that in your shop. first book, in yeah. your first one. And it's all about um, the Fantastic you're Beasts. You're going to read that on Harry Potter Cozy Reading yes. Night, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm going to read, yeah. So you're doing very well. I think you're definitely on track. I'd, yeah. I'd, li- I'd like to hope you'll get above 10, but I think if I we... could. I am I would like to... I reckon I could make 11. Oh. You heard it here first, um, guys. But just going back on a few of the things that we talked about in previous videos, have you been using your Instagram for bookish things? What to find bookish? No, things. as in like to post pictures of books and things. No, like this that. is what no, I've, I've been. I'm on a bit of a social media lull at the minute. Well, you must because I think it's very encouraging yes, to it you. Yes, it is, isn't it? Yeah, I must. So you must do that. Get into um, if if anyone wants to follow David on Instagram or um, Twitter, you're at Beardy David, aren't you? Mm-hmm. And I'll link David's um, Goodreads down below as well if you want to follow and see how he's getting on. And come give be him, my friend. Come and be his friend and give him mm. words of encouragement. What I would be interested in reading, if any of you guys are out in the booktube world. Could I, 
I'd like to read a courtroom drama because I love courtroom like based movies. So I've been intrigued to give one of those a try. So mm. if anyone knows anyone, yeah, I really would like it. Because what's that? Is, it a, is the film with Matthew McConaughey? Is that based a on a Time book? to Kill? Yeah, I've read that. It's um, is it a bit hard? John Grisham. No, I don't think so. But it's very, very true to the film. So if oh, you wanted it? something, I would. Like, I would like to read that one day. But yeah, I'd like to try and read something yeah. new. So any kind of court drama. Because I remember a couple of years ago, I read um, what's that? Harlan Coburn yeah one a Harlan something. Coburn one yeah. and that was quite courtroomy and that was I did enjoy that one so if any of you guys it's know any fine. others please let me know lovely yeah. so that's it so well done David for mid midway through the year being on target mm. my target is 150 books I'm actually two books behind on that at the moment only 150 only 150 but I'm two books behind um so I need to work a bit harder this month to sort of get back you on work track quite hard yeah I do work anyway. quite hard I do, I do. So it's all right. I'm so sure that's it from fine. David and I. We're off around David's mum and dad's now to have some pizza. pizza. From, they've got a pizza oven in their a pizza oven in their garden, which is exciting, yeah. isn't it? I think homemade that. pizzas should only be margaritas. Ooh, Possibly put some like chorizo or something on, but don't go mad, guys. Don't do own, it. If you're making your own pizzas. Cool. Right. Well, that's it from us, and we'll see you all again in another booktube video. Yeah.